there's this very important developer blog that came out today, which is going to be, I, and I haven't even read it yet. I haven't even read it yet. I guarantee you it's all the stuff I've been talking about and people have been hard overreacting to the beta and like, there's not enough content. You know, there's no ranked, all this stuff. I've heard that this has all of it broken down. Overwatch 2 beta week one developer blog. Throughout week one of the first technical beta of Overwatch 2, our team has been galvanized by all the enthusiasm and positive energy from so many participating players. We're carefully listening to your feedback during this beta test and are committed to more regular communication with our players. They have they made that commitment about a month and a half, two months ago, and they are sticking to it. Remember that. We plan to share a weekly update, a weekly update with you about what we're learning and how the impacts our development plan. For this week's update, we have four main topics to cover. Progress on beta one goals. The main goals for our first beta were to test our shift to 5e5. Who said that? Who? Who? Oh, oh, me. Oh, I said that. The new maps of push, game mode, overall balance, and build and server stability. We believe 5v5 is a significant adjustment for players, and we have been happy to hear consistent and positive feedback about players having more fun, feeling a greater sense of impact on their matches, and enjoying a faster pace of combat engagements. Wow! While we will continue to adjust the rules of push, we players seem to be really enjoying this new game mode and our other new maps. We'll talk about balance in more detail in a separate section, but our approach is to balance or our approach to balance will be to make a rapid adjustments to hero power levels and we'll deploy our first beta balance patch in a few days accordingly. Because this beta test focuses primarily on gameplay and balanced as well as stability, Several other features and aspects of the game that you are seeing in this test are still a work in progress. For example, elements like the menu screens, player profiles, multiple time of day conditions for classic maps, and the full set of Hero 2.0 looks are areas our team has been working hard on that we are just not yet testing publicly. And as of the gold gun system has not been completed in this beta build, what you're currently Wait, seeing in so game does not reflect the deliberate shift. I got scammed, Kappa. I'm, 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 I'm pausing alerts for a second. Sorry, I need to reread that. And the golden gun system has not been co completed in this beta build. What you are currently seeing in game does not reflect a deliberate shift in the design aesthetic, but rather an incomplete feature an incomplete feature. The same is true of other UI elements, including the headshot indicators in the kill feed and refining the audio mix. Oh my God. Importantly, this beta is just our first public test leading up to the future Overwatch 2 PVP release. Between now and then, we plan to add more content, including heroes, maps, and features. Who said that? Who said that? Me? Oh, right. I did. You're right. Uh, there will be a significant amount of overall polish and refinement added in the form of enhanced UI, bug fixes, and more. So, what did that mean? Oh, what I said to a lot of people is that there was a radical shift from the 6v6 format to a 5v5 format, which means that a lot of heroes needed to catch up. They need adjustments. They need changes in the way they play their play style. Support is a great example. They need updates to make them more fun for players as well as good to play. If you had released five new heroes in that mix, it is almost impossible to figure out if it's the new heroes that are breaking it or the old heroes that just suck. And we have pretty much found out that it's the old heroes that need to be updated first. This was a very smart way to do it. And people just don't like it because they expected a full game release because other betas are pretty much the full game. This is literally what a beta is supposed to be. All right, the next one. This is a big one. Ranked mode and queue times. We understand that players in our community want to play a ranked mode in the PvP beta and that those systems are a great way to keep players engaged and enjoying competition. We have made the choice to run only run only only run quick play, sorry in this beta test for two primary reasons. First, 
because they're in a test, or sorry, first because in a test with a limited number of players, we generally want to prioritize ma making matches more quickly over splitting players into multiple queues. I think I'm pretty sure I mentioned that. And second, because we're planning some significant overhauls of our core ranked and competitive mode systems, and those are not ready to test publicly at scale. So they're changing the way ranked works. That's why it's not available. <gasps> I'm glad they, I'm, I'm, I'm on, on, a, on a real note though, I'm glad that they finally made this as a statement because I, I think most of like the hardcore community slash streamers and content creators and pro players and stuff like that knew that, but more for casuals at least, they understand a little bit better now, hopefully, if they got this far in the video. However, we've seen uh, we've also seen queue times increasing for tanks and damage players as the roles have been relatively more popular versus the support role during the test. We understand the need to make playing support more attractive to players and we'll discuss that more below. In the interim, we're also working to enable quick play classic with open queue so that players seeking shorter queue times will have an easier option for remainder of the beta test. I, I think I know there's a, I think there's a secret to that one. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I think there's a secret. I think the secret here is like, for some reason the, the, the topic has come back up recently um, about open queue and open queue does not work with the way, dude, imagine tanks right now. Imagine you had like the Zarya and Ryan of right now running it down in your game. Imagine you had like hybrid goats where you ran Lucio, Moira, Diva, Zarya, and Ryan in their current state. They'd be like, dude, you, you thought nothing died during goats? Oh my God, imagine what would've, it would've be like now. Anyways, uh, game balance and support heroes. The beta future tests will be critically important for identifying balance issues and adjusting. So far, most heroes are falling into a healthy range overall for play rate and win rate across different skill levels. But we've seen a few outliers that we'll address in a balance patch pat, uh, plan for later this week. We'll continue actively monitoring gameplay balance, and we expect further hero balance adjustments during this beta. More broadly, during our alpha test, we observed support heroes feeling too vulnerable to diving and flanking attacks with fewer shields. That was all the feedback all the creators made. And no second tank focusing on protecting them. We made a significant adjustment to their role pass of heading into beta. Yup, I talked about all that. Allowing support uh, heroes to recover more health faster and improve their sustainability survivability. This change improved their overall power and durability and overall supports are performing well in the beta, but we know that balance is only one aspect of what makes a hero fun to play. <gasps> Who said that? I did. I told you guys the supports were strong, but people don't like them because they're nothing new. There's nothing exciting. They're not that fun to play, and you feel like you've been left out. But they even said they're performing well. <gasps> We've heard clearly that support players feel both tanks and damage players have more new co Dude, it's like I fucking, I, dude, I, did I write this? I, people are gonna think I wrote this myself. We have clearly heard that support players feel both tanks and damage players have more new content to enjoy and explore in the beta. Longer term, we believe the most effective way to tackle this issue is to add exciting new support heroes to the game and then that be as a part of our plans. In the near term, our hero designing team is also experimenting with significant but shorter lead time and ideas including new and refreshed abilities for some existing support heroes. These types of ideas can be deployed later this first beta test, but more likely with the start of our next. Dude, I I swear to God, whoever writes these lives in my stream. Oh, wait, I know who writes these, actually. It's Jody. It's... I, 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 don't, I don't... I don't... I mean, I don't know. Jody might freak out my stream, but I'm not sure, but... It's... It... It looks like I wrote this. This is, if you literally look, looked at my stream in the last week, it's all of this. All right, next. New scoreboard. The Overwatch scoreboard screen is a new feature that is debuted in the beta. Uh, this scoreboard provides current statistics for both teams' hero composition and the status of your teammates' ultimates, enabling you and your team to plan according uh, and coordinate a winning strategy. I don't like that it has numbers anymore, though. It's just like a bar. I, I think that's kind of dumb. We're retiring both the fire and metal system with the update and enhancement in the Overwatch 2 scoreboard. Okay, so there it goes. There's the question. Uh, you're on fire and metal system. So you know what? Hang on. Let's let's replay that sound. I'm on fire. You'll never hear that again. 
Um, the original idea with the metal system was to give positive reinforcement for personal performance and let players know individually how they were contributing to the team. But as time went on, we realized that the information provided by medals led to varying interpretation by players. The teams saw players incorrectly interpreting actual team performance based on the relative rankings provided by medals. This was especially true early on in games that statistical amounts were small. These observations led to the decision to remove the metal and fire systems and completely rework the scoreboard screen and present more accurate information to players. Okay, I'm open to it. For Overwatch 2, players can expect the new scoreboard screen to display key statistics in real time for all players in the game. These statistics include eliminations, assists, deaths, damage, uh, damage mitigated, and healing. This is big for tanks, because tanks don't have anything right now on the scoreboard, which is awesome. Um, the information will be presented in a new layout that mirrors other competitive games and sports. We want to provide players with an overall more accurate view of the game. Our team believes providing accurate feedback encouragement can improve everyone's gameplay experience. The scoreboard also includes personalized statistics based on the hero you are playing. For example, Lucia will see specific data like sound barriers provided, environmental kills, as well as speed and healing song boost percentages. This combined team and individual performance data will help players make a real-time decision to adjust strategies and win games. This is awesome. While our team believes the scoreboard system is achieving many of its goals, there are a few places specifically where we will continue to, wait. There are a few places specifically where we will continue to iterate. Your feedback has already been helpful in guiding our efforts in the following elements. Information displayed. We'll be adding a new damage mitigated statistic that will reside next to damage done and healing done in the scoreboard. This statistic will cover things like damage blocked and damage reduced by other abilities such as Ana's bio or sorry, Ana's nano boost. Baptiste Immortality Field, and many others. The team may also look at reworking the fire system sometime in the future to complement the scoreboard system as we believe it can provide excitement for high-performing players. I agree on this. I think, I, I was going to say at the end that I think the fire system is actually pretty good. I think it's like a cool Overwatch thing, but the metal system is just ass. Um, so I'm glad that they also realized that. UI and design. The team is looking a lot at the feedback highlighting certain element, elements of the scoreboard and how they can be more effectively communicated in-game like evaluating ultimate abilities and hero pictures to decide whether, or sorry, where on the scoreboard these things can live. Okay, good. Please keep in mind that these reworked screen or scoreboard screen is a work of progress and the team will continue to iterate and improve this feature as we progress through testing. We're already exploring multiple concepts for different layouts. Thank you again for all the beta participants and your support and sharing feedback, but we have been having so much fun playing this test build with all of you. Appreciate your continued support for Overwatch 2 and as we continue to make progress in development so what have we learned here it's an actual beta they have a ton of stuff planned in the future i know i only have a very small reach but i've been trying to tell people this for for, for a week now and people are just stamping their feet because you know they saw the donkey video and to be honest with you donkey's video wasn't like totally wrong but it was off on some things like roll queue i don't agree with i think roll queue is great for the game uh, you know I understood, like, I understand the casuals' perspective of, like, they thought they were going to get a whole new game. I get it, but this proves that we were right. That was never the goal. It's just a a difference in interpretation um, of of what the, like, the overarching community thought versus the Overwatch community thought. Um, so, in my final thoughts, realistically, I think Overwatch is going to struggle a little bit in the, in the short term, but in the long term, we're going to be fine because... They're making great decisions, and they're talking about it, and they're implementing them, and they're communicating. So to be honest with you, let the rest of the gaming community just meme on us for a little while longer. Trust me, in the end, I think we're going to be just fine.